Oh boy, a couple of friends exploring. I wonder what we'll find next. A mesa? A beach? Oh boy, another grassy plain. This looks like another great place to build another crap house. Would be nice to build on the foundation we've built instead of just abandoning all our homes the day after we've built them. Nah. Hey, Bird Butt, you want to come down to the ravine and explore with us? Nah, I'll hang back and watch Bam Bam. Plus, I'm gonna listen to some old records. Ah, uh, the classics. Apple trees, wheat, melons. I'd say we've got a pretty nice farm. You know, I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty boring watching you. Usually Stan's dumbass would have us deep in trouble right now. You, on the other hand, just kind of, uh, sit there. What the- Hey, you! Get away from there! Oh god, uh... Wow, maybe you're not so lame after all. No, dude. We don't need more useless crap taking up inventory space. Ugh, fine. Well, that was a successful day. Wow, usually Stan and that stupid pig would be back by now. Missing a meal is not like them. Wait, where are you going? Careful on the edge there, do- What the- Hey, idiot! Help us, please! Of course, you're gone for half a day and about to become zombie food. Would you please just help us? I used all my cobblestone on that stupid statue of myself. Oh well, worth it. Wait, Chick, lower Bam Bam down, and the zombies will end up chasing him up there. We can cure the zombies with the apples on the farm! Hey, that's my farm! Get your own apples! Ugh, alright, fine. Good call on keeping that string, little dude. Great job! The villagers are chasing him! Alright, we're gonna head up there too. Hey, zombie folk! Y'all want some apples? Stan, the apples have to be golden if they're gonna cure the villagers. We're gonna have to smelt Stan's golden leggings down to make the apples golden. Ruin my golden slacks? Over my dead body? Hold them down! Ooh. These are delicious! Thanks for saving my family and I! You owe me a pair of golden pants, asshole. Those were designer. 24 carat! I've got 24 carats for you right here! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're really gonna end on that stupid joke? Jesus, I'm starving. Oh man, we haven't eaten all day. You two, rock, paper, scissors to see who we kill and eat. You can't kill me! I'm the only one who remembers the coordinates to get home! Damn it, he's right. I wish I hadn't dropped my map. Hey, maybe this guy knows where we can find some food. Oh my god, it's a stray! Well, it's been fun, you guys. Ugh, I can't lie to you. It actually hasn't. That's right, I forgot we had a tamed wolf. Thanks, Mr. Wolf. How can we ever repay you? Y'all got emeralds? Uh, yeah, but- Give me your emeralds. Hey, I'm a rich-ass wolf! Whoa, it's a frozen ocean! Thank you, we have eyes. Yes, but what we don't have is food. Wait a sec. Who wants a fresh cod? Oh boy, we're gonna have a feast tonight! And so, they realized that in order for all of them to play together, they were going to need to buy a realm. <gasps> but none of them had any money, so they were going to have to ask for their mom's credit card to cover the monthly fee. <gasps> and after they had finally built the ultimate fortress, they found out that one of their little brothers had accessed the world and griefed it! <laughs> That's it, I'm not sleeping tonight. As a leader of our group, I too will stay up all night to keep watch of- <gasps> Good morning. Ew, we shared a sleeping bag? I was the big spoon. Hey, what happened to all the salmon? There was a big pile right here when we went to bed. Someone must have came along and stole it. Probably those red-eyed rabbits. Stupid albino zombies. Will you guys relax? I'm sure there's a totally normal, non-lethal explanation for this. Oh my god, polar bear! Ah! Save me before I become pork sausage! This is terrible. This whole situation has just snowballed into a giant mess. That's it! Snowball! Stan, throw that snow! Take that!
Oh no! It just made him angrier! Porkchop, jump in the water! What? No, it's cold! And I can't swim! Trust me! Great job! Now let's get out of here! Take that, you endangered asshole! Man, can you believe Stan is making us throw all of our stuff away? It's about not being wasteful. We've got too much stuff we don't need or use. Goodbye, Lapis. Oh, God damn it! Goodbye, books. Hey, I wanted to keep those. You've never opened any of those books. Do you even know what they're used for? Uh, building bookshelves? Anyway, lunch is ready, so take a seat. Ew, what the hell is this? Mushroom stew. Give it a chance, it's healthy. If I was concerned with going green, I'd lick the moss off that cobblestone outside. Hmm, you know, it's actually not that bad. I feel like I can take on the world. Oh, oh God, my stomach! Uh. Ha. What did you put in that stew? Not just some red mushrooms, some brown mushrooms, and some wither rose. Wither rose? Well, he's contracted the swine flu. <laughs> That wither rose is gonna turn my heart black! Okay, uh, let's go out and explore. We're bound to find the flower that'll cure him in the forest. Hello? Any oxeye daisies out here? Hey, that fox probably knows this forest like the back of his paw. Excuse me, Mr. Fox. Uh, little help? Hey, get, get out of here! Wow, that fox really had it out for me. Yeah, gives me an idea. Aha! And now we wait. What the hell? That ugly piece of crap looks nothing like me. <laughs> what the? Gotcha! Now tell us where we can find some healing flowers. Never! I will escape! Okay, come to my cave. Your friend is withering away. All he needs is a healing potion to combat the decay. Wow. So you're like some sort of magic fox, huh? <laughs> Hardly. I just like potions and enchantments and stuff. I remember when I had books, until my quote-unquote friends threw them into the lava. Here, take this one. It'll let you enchant your armor and your tools. <gasps> a book of enchantment! You're really giving this idiot a lot of power. Take a swig, Mr. Pig. I'm going to create an enchantment table, and soon I will have the sharpest of swords, the strongest of armor, and the most, uh, fish-like lungs to breathe underwater, or whatever. Yes! Finally, we won't be noobs anymore! We'll be all-powerful gods! We will rule the biome, and we will live forever! <laughs> Way to go, idiots. We're officially lost at sea. Uh, I'm pretty sure we need to head that way. Wait, no, maybe that way. Okay, let's just stay calm and keep rowing. Land will generate eventually. Hey, look at that! It's some sort of ancient ocean monument! I bet that could be our next adventure! Let's go explore- Turn around now, or be cursed with eternal fatigue! Uh, let's just see what's over this way. Whoa, check it out! It's a coral reef! Look at all those delicious tropical fish! Last one in's an unborn chicken! I take offense to that. Let me just drink this water-breathing potion. Okay, I admit, these coral reefs are kind of pretty. Oh yeah? Why don't you marry them? <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back for you. Well howdy, land folk! Wow, you dolphin can talk? Yes, sir. Interesting fact. We dolphin are one of the smartest species on the planet. We can communicate without language and even participate in recreational fornication. Thanks for that visual. Welcome to the Coral Reef, where we ocean mobs live in harmony and friendship. Wow, a peaceful coexistence. You know, I love to see that. You have a beautiful home here. But, um, is there anything else to do besides swim around and look at coral? Why, yes. There's an underwater ruin made of sandstone nearby. Follow us. Wow, an underwater ruin. Careful, there's a giant squid swimming around it. I'll handle this. While Stan brutally murders that squid, here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that in Minecraft there are over 2,700 different random combinations of tropical fish? Oh my god, you guys! It's a treasure map! Oh boy! Time for a long and arduous quest across the entire biome to find it! Eh, let's just cut to that part now. 
Stan dug for the entire day that day, even though the chest was only three blocks deep. In fact, the only reason it took so long was because he was using his axe instead of his shovel, like a dumbass. Hey, there it is. Uh, kinda looks just like a normal chest. No way, dude, it's a treasure chest. What's inside? A blue ball and a cake. Throw the ball, throw it! Now, uh, what should we do with the cake? I, I have an idea. Food, check. Gold armor so piglins don't kill me, check. Diamond sword because the piglins are gonna try to kill me anyway, check. Why in the world would we go back to the nether? It's the worst. I, for one, am beyond excited to see my hoglin friends. We're blind traveling. If we build a portal in the nether, we can spawn in all sorts of different biomes and unexplored parts of the overworld. That sounds like a great way to get stranded thousands of blocks from home. You guys do what you want. I'm gonna go get high. By climbing to the top of this mountain range. Hmm, there's not really much to do up here. Don't know what I'm gonna do for food. Great, just what I needed. Oh god, oh god! Oh, that's right, I'm a chicken. No fall damage. Okay, let's see what destination lies ahead. I hope it's a mess of full of gold! Every time I try and mine some here, the piglins just shoot at me! Oh, a swamp biome. All right, back in the nether. Let's try again. All right, a new day, another exploration in the extreme hills. Survival might be tougher than I thought. Well, you're a strange looking llama. That's a bird, idiot, a chicken. What brings a chicken like yourself all the way up to the extreme hills? I'm a rogue adventurer, out here trying to make it on my own. Also, my Steve is a dumbass. You travel with Steve? We must get rid of this chicken now so his Steve doesn't hunt us for leather! Should we spit or stomp him? Wait, wait, here, as a token of friendship. You think you can win us over with a raggedy carpet? I don't know, I kinda like it. You're part of the gang now, chicken boy. Basalt biomes are the worst! Don't worry, once I build this portal, we'll be in an exciting new location. Or back at our spawn point. Man, it's great not having to use my chicken legs to get around. Oh, great. Look who's back. You're Steve! That idiot's about to go into the nether with no armor. Yeah, he does stuff like that. All right, this time I am staying out of the basalt biomes. Agreed. My legs are too stubby for piggy parkour. Using your own legs is overrated. Where the heck have you been? In the mountains with my llama friends. This is my lifestyle now. Ooh, that carpet would look great in our crappy grass floor house. <coughs> oh god, I made a miscalculation. So, uh, we're really gonna enter this bastion, huh? Yep, this is a great place to trade. Yeah, and a great place to be killed. Just imagine how many piglins are inside that thing. That reminds me. You, wear this. And you, wear this. I'll put on my good old golden leggings. Now before we go in, just gonna check out some of this gold up here. We're gonna get murdered. Oh god! Rhinos! Did somebody order bacon? I'm internally conflicted. Alright, let's head inside and trade. That's right, right over here, come on. Did we get anything good? String? What the hell is this? Hey, hey, get the hell out of here! Don't be shy, my friend. Hop in that hole and trip. Ouch! That piglin hit me for no reason! Oh god, the zombie pigmen is slaughtering the piglins! They died doing what they love, snorting loudly in a hole. Looks like we've got a potion and some pearls. Ooh, a delicious potion! Stand back! Since we're in the nether, we might as well look for a nether fortress. In fact, I think I see one over there. Did... did he just teleport? Ah! Oh god, lava! All oh, right, my fire res. I can't believe that douche canoe just left us here. 
Well, now that all the piglins are dead, we've got all day to go through their chest. Ow! I thought you were all dead. Fine. Keep all your crappy bone blocks. I'm not hanging out in this death trap any longer. <laughs> Whoa, you've been chosen to be a zombie pigment jockey. Look at that cute little guy. Nope, sorry, this adventure's over. All right, just gonna build up. Hey, what do you think you're doing breaching the fortress walls? Okay, as long as I land in the lava with my fire reds, I'll be okay. Oh no! That man is about to land in lava and die! Strider to the rescue! Oh boy, this is gonna be great! Yes, I love a night of mischief and mayhem! Be free, Iron Golem! Eat eggs, you stupid pillagers! <laughs> <laughs> No! <coughs> I have a confession to make. I started with a bonus chest. They'll come back one day, and when they do, we'll kill the rest of them. In the meantime... You... you saved my life. Where are you going? <sighs> Who would have guessed a golem made of iron wouldn't be a good communicator? Hey, maybe this is where I belong. You guys mind if I tag along with you? Well, sure thing! What's your name, little guy? Hmm, I've never really had a name. How about... Kevin? Kevin... Hmm... I like that name. Those chickens became my family. I spent the majority of my life with them. Hold on, wait. When did this become a storytelling thing? You called me a randomly generated goose. I'm explaining how I wasn't randomly generated. Wait, so your name is Kevin? Technically, I guess. Alright, we've got a fence to build, so let's wrap up this story, Kevdog. Anyways, like I said, I grew up with those guys. We explored all types of biomes together. Until one day... Wow, check out this bamboo forest. The wall of bamboo is so thick you can barely see past it. It's like there could be an extremely dangerous threat lurking behind it and we'd be none the wiser. I'm gonna go see if there's any melon seeds over by that ravine. I see where this is going. There were no melon seeds. No, dude. By the time I got back, they had all been killed by the ocelot. You didn't mention an ocelot. He was in the flashback, idiot! Stop yelling at us, Kevin! You know what? I'm out of here. Good luck with your stupid fence. Going to look for some melon seeds, are ya? Screw you! Wow. Kevin must really hate fences! Why do we have to run? It's called a speed run! Yeah, last time I may have messed up at the last possible second because I was going too fast, but I'm sure if I do it again, faster and with less precaution, we can make it to the end and defeat the dragon. Way to boost morale. Come on, there's a village up ahead! Time to loot these houses. Whoa, how did you get all that iron? I killed the iron golem. Isn't that gonna leave the village defenseless? I'm sure they'll figure something out. Why did you grab all these beds? I thought we might get tired after all that running. We don't have time to rest. We've only been at this for- Time stamp of the video. We're never gonna finish this in time. I know what we can do to speed this up. What? An 80s rock pop montage. That's too much effort to draw. Let's just jump cut straight to the end. Wow, so many Endermen. We just gotta keep our heads down. Hey look, the dragon. Oh, for f**k's sake. No time for that, run. Well, now that we've taken care of that, let's go kill that dragon. How are we gonna do that? That thing is huge, and it's flying in circles. Wait, that means it's coming down. Okay, quick, how do we kill it? How about you put down a bed next to it so it falls asleep? Perfect. We strike it when it's defenseless. Wait, no, don't actually- Hey, dragon, look. I bet you're starting to feel pretty sleepy. I might go to bed myself. Great job. Wait, look! It worked! Keep placing beds! Now! We did it! I can't believe it! All in a day's work.
Guess it was all a dream. Then where'd all these beds come from? And after slaying the dragon for the final time, our heroes flew off into the void sunset. The end. Wow, that was such a great story. Why haven't we explored the end before? Because we'll die. Unfortunately, Chick's right. I mean, you heard the story. Poisonous fruit that'll eat you from the inside out. Strange and indestructible guardians. Vast labyrinthian cities. Ugh. It's a death trap. Even we are not stupid enough to go there. Well, I think we'd make great end explorers. Imagine it, just a couple of pals exploring the most hostile environment known to man, or pig. Now that that's over, at least we can go home. Have a warm meal. Wait a second, we gotta explore the outer end islands first. And how do we do that? There. Whoa, this is Empty. incredible! Look at all the delicious fruit! Careful, that stuff's poisonous. I'll stick with the food we brought with us, thanks. Um. What is it now? We actually ate it all. So you're telling me- Time to take our chances with the chorus fruit! Ow. Oh my god, he's dead! No, you idiot. He's over there. Oh, thank god. Wait, did you just teleport? Huh, I guess I did. You guys should try these, they're delicious! Well, he was right about one thing. Come over here. What is it? Try eating the chorus fruit right next to the edge. Maybe it'll teleport you to the next island. Or send you falling into the void. No, it probably won't do that. Probably. I'm on it. Well, I guess that's a bust. How do we get over there then? We can build a bridge. A very narrow and flimsy bridge. Over the dark abyss. Exactly. That's the spirit. Whoa. Let's a go. Wait. Uh, guys, a little help? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> This isn't so bad. Those things just spit at me. Gross. Now we got all these awesome shells too. Do you think these are like shellfish? What? No. Come on, let's just get to the Elytra. Whoa. Wait a second. There's three of us and only one pair of wings. Porkchop should get it. What? You know how many bets I would win if Porkchop got the Elytra? Now it's showing. Hang on, I want the Elytra. But you already have wings. I can only float. I want to experience real flight. Well, I think Stan should have it. He's the only one that they'd fit anyways. You haven't even tried them on. I don't wanna. I'd fall right off the ship. Pigs aren't made to fly. You can always give them to me. Sounds good to me. What? No. Sorry, Stan. You're outvoted. <sighs> Why did the Ender Dragon come back and kill us all? Yeah, how come you gave me the Elytra and then never let me use it? You said the end was dangerous! Yeah, but you made everything that was dangerous easy to defeat, and you just happened to be the one defeating them. No way that would happen in real life. Whatever, I know my story's good. Besides, you didn't let me finish. I don't want to hear the rest. At least let me read the epilogue. <sighs> <sighs> Fine. Let's get it over with. I see the player you mean. <laughs> read our thoughts now. So it knows it is part of a game. That is not how it chooses to imagine itself, but yes. This player used to dream. What did it dream? The player dreamed it was alive. It dreamed it created. It dreamed of shelter. Does it know that we love it? Sometimes. Not as often as it thinks it is alone. And yet, they play the game. The player is restless. I will tell the player a story. But not the truth. No. A story that contains the truth safely in the cage of words. Once upon a time, there was a player. That player was you. Sometimes, the player dreamed it was a man that lived with talking animals. The world was flat and infinite. The days were short and death was not death. Sometimes the player dreamed it was lost in a story. Let's go back. There was a world much older than this one. On it were other players. Players who played the long game of life and who created shorter games. Sometimes the players would become other players, would create other players. Yes. And sometimes the player believed that it was reading words on a screen. And sometimes the player believed it was hearing a story, 
that the universe was speaking to it. And the universe said, you are not separate from every other thing. And the universe said, I love you because you are love. And the player woke up because the game was over. And the player dreamed better, dreamed longer. You are the player. Wake up. So what'd you think? You know, it's getting kind of boring exploring caves. What do you mean? It used to be exciting. Danger around every corner. Look, danger! That was really rude. You should get to know a guy before he starts swinging around that thing. See? That's what I mean. We're untouchable. There's literally nothing that could defeat us. Well, there is something. I'm listening. In the depths of the world, hitherto unexplored. That dwells an ancient evil. Why are you determined to get us killed? And why are you speaking like that? Stop interrupting! You guys never let me tell my creepy stories in peace! Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Some say that disturbing this beast means your life is now forfeit. They say that none who have faced it are still alive to tell the tale. Who's they? Right, right, continue. Well, that was it. But you didn't know that. One day I'll teach you guys a valuable lesson about interrupting me! Sure you will! And one day, Stan will actually start listening to what we say! What? Anyways, no way are we gonna seek out something so dangerous. Just because I want some excitement doesn't mean I'm suicidal. Unimaginable danger. I'm in! You weren't even paying attention! Well now I am! And I wanna go wherever it was that Porkchop was talking about! Looks like it's two to three, chick! We're going to the deep dark! Hooray for democracy! I was right. I definitely don't want to be here. Lighten up, chick. Some danger will be good for you. It gets the heart pumping and the blood flowing. I just wanted on the record that I said this was a bad idea. You say that about everything! Yeah, and I'm usually right. Oh wait, there is something else I forgot to mention. Please tell us. We're in enough danger as it is if you're right about this place. Well, it's that we- Relax. Everyone will be fine. <laughs> Oh my god, you've led us into a horror movie! What I was trying to say was that we need to be quiet in here! Ooh, chess. Hey, can you even imagine what kind of cool stuff is down here? Whatever it is, it's not worth it. We should leave. There's some magic sh** going on here that I do not trust. Well, as long as we're quiet, we should be good. Outvoted again, chick. I hate you guys. You ready to see the good stuff? <laughs> Well, that wasn't so bad. Now's when we run! Oh, hell no. It can smell us! What do we do? Split up. What? It can't chase all of us. We have to lure it in different directions to spread it thin trying to get us. Once we spread it out enough, we can get out. It's definitely moving too slow to catch us once we get to the exit. Come on, move! Over here! No! Over here, you big o! Is it getting faster? Come and get me! What the hell? Just get out of here, man! Hey, you can talk? Yes, and I was in the middle of a fantastic thousand-year nap when you woke me. Hey, man, we didn't mean to wake you up. You can just go back to sleep. We were just leaving. But you make so much noise, and you smell... Uh, so strongly. It'd be so much easier just to kill you than to deal with your racket getting out. Wait, is there something we can do to convince you not to do this? Nah, I'll just kill you. We're not gonna make it easy for you. Oh, wow, that was so cool. Well, thank you. No one ever compliments my killing. Do you want to stay down here with me and nap forever? Hmm. What? Obviously no. Why are you thinking about this? Oh, I wasn't. I was just stalling. I heard that. Well, uh, then no. I'll have to decline your offer. Hmm. Suit yourself. Well, at least we got cool loot. About that. Oh, come on. Wow, this amethyst stuff must be pretty valuable if it's this rare. Yeah, I don't know about that. But valuable I can get behind. All the shiny things are valuable. Whoa. Whoa. It's so shiny. And there's so much of it. We're gonna be rich. Let's go give Porkchop the good news. 352, 353, 354. Whoa, you guys found a lot.
I also got a ton of emeralds. Look at this! No time for that now. We have amethyst, an obviously superior material. Ah, oh, cool. What does it do? Well, we're about to find out. Aha! Uh -huh. That's probably kinda useful, right? I don't see any mob farms around here, do you? Ugh, oh, it's useless. Wait, no! There's another thing! Make that one! This one's kinda cool. No, it's not. I have Optifine. It's just more junk. Well, crafting is a bust. What else can you do with blocks in Minecraft? This is... Uh... Gotti. Sparkly! Face it, this stuff is horrible to build with. It's like an obnoxious version of Purpur. What are we supposed to do with all this amethyst we collected then? Well, we wanted to get rich, right? If we're trying to get rich, I got a ton of emeralds. I can... Let's go scam the villagers with these. No. Oh. Well, what do we do now? How about those emeralds I got? <sighs> what a beautiful day for a walk. Especially when you're broke and have nowhere else to go. That's the spirit. Well, what about over there? There's bound to be treasure in that thing. So how are you planning to get the treasure then? This place is swarming with pillagers. Easy. I'll just take him out with my superior PvP skills. Uh-oh. My stuff! We gotta get back before it all despawns! Or we could just get new stuff. We barely had anything on us. No, it's the principle of the thing. We're getting back my stuff if we have to die trying. Aha, got it. How am I supposed to get past them to get my stuff? What about this thing? This could work. We use this piece of wood as a sled and slide right past them. It's a shield, idiot. Just deflect the arrows. Oh, I guess that could work too. Bet they weren't expecting that. Okay, we can deal with those guys on the way out. Hopefully they forget we're even here. Let's just find the treasure for now. This is just a bunch of junk. It's not complete junk. Look! Nice shot. Wait, what's that? What, the guy I just killed? Ending any quest for self-improvement he could have possibly achieved? No, next to that. Hey, hey! Can you get me out of here? Yeah, but what are you doing here? The pillagers were trying to replicate me for their own purposes. They didn't realize I was made of iron, I guess. Isn't iron literally in your name? We can get you out of that cage. And we can get you safely out of here. Yeah, we got a new weapon! Whoa, careful with that thing! Don't worry, that won't be necessary. <laughs> Remind me to never cross that guy. Uh, when's lunch? Lunch? We just got here. But is there a specific time or... Well, we don't go here, Dax. We're adults. You can eat whenever. I love school! Let's find the office so we can apply for these janitor jobs. Oh man! Maybe if I buy some chips, my bag will push yours over the edge. No! Hey, crackle sticks, I haven't had these in years. Wait, what's this? Crackle sticks, they're not just a snack. Snap them in half and the lad out of thwack. Loud and fun and that's just the truth. But be real careful cause you might break a tooth. Crackle sticks. What? Guys, a walkie talkie. Do you think someone left it here on purpose? Shh, focus! I need to get my chips. Is anybody willing to butter their head and stick it up in there? Mine's too big. And ta-da, Aether. This is someone's idea of heaven? No, this is high school. It's someone's idea of hell. What just happened? I'll tell you what happened. They obliterated my chips. These chips? I grabbed them as we passed through the portal. They looked yummy. Well, I'm glad it was the chicken and not the egg who came first. Hello, we can hear you. Hello there. My name is Stan, and I'm in charge of this operation. What can I do you for? I'm sorry, you're in charge. You're in danger. Do I look like a tall teacher? It's not me! She did say piggy. My name's Bunny, and I'm locked in one of the classrooms. Please, help me before she comes Huh? Speak louder. Which classroom? What do you see? Anything might be a clue. Hello? How are we supposed to find her? We don't. She's as good as dead. Besides, we're gonna be late to class. Uncle, you're not a student here, and neither is he. Ma'am, I've already failed algebra once. It's not happening a squared time. Wait up. What if I told you I was uncool in high school? What? 
No. How? Why? Where? When? I want to see if I can be cool. I'll be back to help save the lady or whatever. We should not split up. There's a murderous teacher on the loose, and you're making yourself a bigger target on your own. Again, it's not me. Is everything okay back there? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What was that? It was a test. You passed. Finally, this one's going on the fridge. I'm Chloe S. This is Chloe L and Chloe M. You said we passed? How? You didn't tattle. You were cool. Cool? And now we're friends. Friends? In three, two, one. Ah! Well, she's not in here either. Another empty classroom, another empty closet. Did somebody say budget cuts? Did they? I hope they don't need stitches. Maybe we should split into teams. We'll find money faster that way. I don't know. I've watched a lot of slasher movies, and every time the group splits up, somebody dies. What do you think, Chick? Facts. Chick? Sorry, I still don't understand my size and my strength. Uh, normally fun isn't really my thing, but when you launched me into the sky, I saw the world from a new angle. Chickens don't really fly. We can flutter down from heights, but today, today I scored. Awesome! Let's go back outside! No way. That last fall bruised my nuggets. I am funned out. This killer just watched us climb into this locker. We are so dead. Maybe he blinked and missed us? This locker's basically a coffin. Good news is our loved ones won't go in debt and can bury us here. We thought we saw murderer Miss Piggy. How many times do I have to say I am not the maniac killer? I wave. Our bad. Where have you guys been? Everywhere. <laughs> Were you outside? How'd you know? It smells like cooked chicken. But I put on SPF 50. Hmm, could have been worse. Did you find Bunny? Not yet, uh, but we've been able to clear 10 more classrooms. Shh. Why are we in here again? I don't know. Why did you let me do this again? I'd say what a dumb idea, but I know we're already thinking it. <laughs> Why is everyone walking down halls in the scariest way possible? Stan, Oakley, did you find Bunny? No, but we did make new friends. Everyone, this is Chloe S, Chloe L, Chloe M, Chloe T, and other Chloe S. Chloe S, Chloe L, Chloe M, Chloe T, and other Chloe S, this is everyone. Hi. Uh, hey. The Chloe's are verified. Verified what? They're verified, Claire, on Tick Block. Show them. <laughs> Has anyone found Bunny? Who's Bunny? She's the one who told us about the murder pig. I cannot. Why are we in here? It's the ending we deserve. What if we build an ether portal right outside the door? How would that work for us? Who cares? Let's do it. <laughs> who is that again? Pig went into another dimension? Yep. And it's not him. No. And who are they? Ah, yes. Bunny, this is Chloe S, Chloe L, Chloe M, Chloe T, and other Chloe S. Chloe S, Chloe L, Chloe M, Chloe T, and other Chloe S. This is Bunny. And you are? I'm Cloakley. I'm pretty much one of the Chloes. And I'm Stan. Oh, wow. Well, is that the time? Uh, I need to get back to the admin office. I had some folks coming in to apply for the janitor job. That's us. Yeah. We want to clean the cafeteria so we can eat leftovers. Cloakley? Why do you hang out with all of these olds? My friends? No, Cloakley. The Chloes are your friends. These are olds. Do they even know the latest TikTok dance? I do! The Chloes are your friends now, and only the Chloes. You are not to befriend any non-Chloes. Do you understand? In an emergency, there are four emergency Chloes. Please take a moment to locate your nearest Chloe as it may be behind you. Before helping others with their Chloe, make sure you have tightly secured your Chloe. You have freed us all from the tyranny of Chloe S. All hail Stan, queen of the Chloes. But, but I want to be the cool one. I'm bored, let's go home. Can I be queen of the Chloes now? No. Fine, I didn't want to anyway. I guess we're leaving. 
Come with me to my world. I think you'd really like it there. What? Dax, don't listen it. I live here with all my stuff. My bed, my bicycle, my poster of the Jonas Brothers. You can visit. We'll get jobs as bank robbers. That sounds nice. Now get out of here! What? Uh, I know. I, I said I'm leaving. Skedaddle doodle do! That's a rooster. Where's this animosity coming Scram, from? Scram, you chicken! I am, okay? Just give me a sec Cross to- Cross the road like you're supposed to! God, okay. Yeesh. Go! <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Hello? Stan? Porkchop? Stan, this isn't funny. Holy shit! In an emergency, there are four emergency Chloe's. Please take a moment to locate your nearest Chloe. It may be behind you. 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 You just got rogue! We're here for the bank robbery. Keep it down. Jeez. Don't you understand what clandestine means? No. <sighs> you got this. We're psyched you all showed up for our little party. Please get cozy. We have Bloxy Cola. <clears throat> what I'm about to propose is highly lucrative and highly illicit. Who wants treats? I think the pop is enough. But our next course is pizza, followed by donuts with a Mario Kart tournament for dessert. I call Wario. Well, no fair. No, no, this isn't a party. You're here because we all share a dream. To hang out as friends? We all want to rob a bank. Oh, right. Each of you were chosen for your special talents. The bank has a rudimentary alarm system. First, I, our explosives expert, will cut the power. Do they have a backup generator? This is live Tobia. There's no way. Stella will lockpick the doors, and the infiltration team will be inside without setting off alarms. But if the alarms do go off, that's where I'll come in, as a distraction and fight the ninja guards! There won't be ninjas. You'll stay outside by the van as lookout. Lookout? I signed up to be an agent of chaos! I have it all planned out! Then I said, wrestle the pig? I hardly know him! <laughs> Oh my god, so funny. Are you a comedian? No! I'm an agent of chaos. I don't like the sound of that. Also, in this fake version of events, you'd leave me behind with the bees? Me. Please don't mess with bees. They're endangered. It's part of the big distraction! A distraction from what? Which is our agent of chaos? The distraction. If the infiltration team runs into any guards, which you'll neutralize them. <laughs> with pleasure. Now, when you reach the vault. Wait, where are you gonna be, chick? In the van with the getaway driver. We aren't hanging out together? When we're filthy rich in Maldives, then we can party. What's the point of this whole hangout if we're not hanging out? Uh, anyway, Stella will crack the safe. Dax will do the heavy lifting. Carrying out the plunder, we'll all speed off to the airport and fly to the Indian Ocean to live a life of ease and luxury. It's a good plan, right? Will there be gold? Gold is nearly worthless. Maybe in your world. I don't know. It's a bank. The plan is to empty the vault. I imagine there's a ton of cash. Gold. Jewels. Jewels, eh? Well, they better be diamonds. Maybe some emeralds? Hang on, chick. You imagine? It has all this stuff? What if it's only a single duffel bag of useless Robux? No way. It's a bank. They have to have gold. That's the point. Will this vault have the grappler gun and shockwave grenade? Uh, no more questions. Sure, but how do we know this information is correct? That is actually a good question. One of our team was hired by the bank just this afternoon. Hey, me too. We'll be co-workers. Dude. You're our man on the inside. But I'm the snack guy? Fine, you're also the snack guy. Chick is my best friend. This seems important. Better be safe than sorry. Oh, we could have used that code to open the bank vault. Follow the plan. This is boring. I'm going inside. We can't go inside until Chick cuts the... It's unlocked. The Topia Bank is never locked. <laughs> ha, I knew it. 
The bank has a backup generator. It has two. Dax, this would have been useful intel if you told Chick earlier. He was so busy planning. I didn't want to bother him. Is there anything else you didn't want to bother him with saying? Maybe? <laughs> My contacts. <laughs> <laughs> They're too agile. What's all the noise in there? There are ninjas. Ninjas? Dax would have told me. Right, Dax? I'm sorry! How long until the police show up? 15 seconds. Maybe less. This is now a smash and grab. I don't have time to crack this safe. You have to remember that code or we're all doomed. There were so many numbers! It's our only hope. Remember it. Remember it for Chick, your friend. My friend? <laughs> I need your help! Type in the comment section below the bank vault code shown earlier in the video. This is for Chick, for friendship! Type faster! We need the code now! Back away from the ninja! They need our help. They did it! 23-17-04. It worked! Dax! Dax! Are you okay? I'm sorry I didn't listen. I should have planned this with you. I just got so caught up in proving how incredibly smart I am. You came to rescue me! <clears throat> Too tight! Aren't we on the second floor? And you brought snacks! I'm not food! I'm part of the team! Oh, yeah. I forgot to introduce Burger. He's our getaway driver. How do you know we can trust him? I've been here the whole time! What I'm about to propose is highly lucrative and highly illicit. Wait, where's the loot? That's it? One bag of Robux? No gold. I should have robbed the jewelry store with that other group of weirdos. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nice. Let's get out of here. We don't have time for this. It's okay. I know how to fix it. Alright, I'm gonna head up. Don't call me ever again. <laughs> <laughs> This is my time to shine as the Agent of Chaos! I said no bees! They're not bees! They're fireflies! Why would you release fireflies? Chaos! What's in this potion? I think it's just coconut water. I don't know you. I've been here the whole time! This isn't the Maldives, and we aren't filthy rich. But I am glad that we all got to hang out together. This is so much fun! It doesn't even feel like we left anyone behind! We left someone behind? <laughs> Any second now. Come on. Come on! I am the ultimate agent of chaos! Just got roached! Well, I never. Chloe, Chloe, you're not gonna believe what just landed on the yacht. <laughs>